Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about percentage error. As shown here in the syllabus. The formulas for the areas of plane shapes are shown on page 2 of your formula booklet. And the percentage error formula is given on page 3 in your formula booklet. Whenever we measure a quantity, there is almost always a difference between the measured, or the approximate value, and the actual, or the exact value. We call this difference the error. To calculate this error, we subtract the exact value, VE, from the approximate value, VA. The two straight lines on either side of the calculation are called the absolute value sign and it ensures that the answer is always positive regardless of whether the approximate value is larger or smaller than the exact value. The absolute value sign is also called the modulus sign. The percentage error in a measurement is the difference between the approximate and the exact values expressed as a percentage of the exact value, as shown here. Again, the absolute value signs around the calculation ensures that the answer is always positive. The percentage error is given the symbol E, where E is the Greek letter, epsilon. To access the absolute value function on your calculator, from the main menu, if you select Run Matrix, option 1, and then press F4 for a maths calculation, and then F3 for the absolute value function. So if we wanted to work out the percentage error when using an approximate value of 40, as opposed to an exact value of 44, we would just type the calculation straight into the calculator. Having pressed the absolute value function, then press the fraction button to set up a fraction calculation. And in the numerator, we put 40, subtract 44, and then move the cursor down and put the exact value in the denominator. Pressing the right cursor once to move up and a second time to move outside the absolute value sign and then multiplying by 100 and pressing execute and then pressing um, decimal display. So the percentage error is 9.09% .09 correct to three significant figures. In this question we're asked to find the percentage error in using 22 over 7 as an approximation or an estimation for pi. So we can first start by identifying the approximate value and that's 22 over 7. And for the, for the exact value, VE, we will use the pi button on the calculator. Next if we state the percentage error formula as given in your formula booklet and substitute in the values. So that's replacing VA with 22 over 7 and VE with pi. Then if we enter the calculation into the calculator, again pressing F3 for an absolute value calculation, pressing the fraction button once to set up a fraction and once for 22 over 7. So 22, move the cursor down over 7, and then the right cursor to bring it up again. Take away and shift to access pi, and then the down cursor to get to the bottom, and again shift to access pi a second time. Pressing the right cursor twice to get outside the absolute value of signs, and then to multiply by 100. And pressing execute, 
to perform the calculation, as shown here, and then rounding the answer to three significant figures gives a percentage error of 0.0402%. If numbers used in a measurement or calculation have been rounded, you do not know the actual value, but you can find the lower and upper bounds for it. The maximum percentage error is found by calculating the percentage error first assuming that the lower bound of the measurement to be the exact value, VE, and then to calculate the percentage error a second time assuming the upper bound to be the exact value of the measurement, and then taking the larger of these two percentage errors. For example, if the length of a fence has been measured as 70 meters correct to the nearest meter, then the error bound on the length measurement will be 69.5 meters for the lower bound, 70.5 meters for the upper band. So the approximate value is the measured value of 70 meters. So if you first use the lower band in our percentage error calculation here and calculate the percentage error. This gives a value of 0.719%. Then if we repeat the calculation using the upper band, 70.5 as the exact value in the calculation. And again, calculating the percentage error, this time giving 0.709%. And then compare the two percentage errors and take the maximum of the larger of the two. So the maximum percentage error is 0.719%. In this question, we are asked to find the maximum percentage error in the area of a circle if the radius measured to one decimal place was 2.5 centimetres. So if we first state the lower and upper bounds for the radius. The lower band will be 2.45 centimetres and the upper band will be 2.55 centimetres. Next, using these values, we can find the lower and upper bounds for the area. Remembering that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, as given in the formula booklet. So the lower bound would use 2.45 for the radius and then squaring it, and the upper bound would use 2.55 for the radius. And if we leave the area bounds in terms of pi, it will save having to round the answers. Next, if we find the approximate or the measured value of the area using a radius of 2.5 centimeters, given a value of 6.25 pi centimeters squared. So if we first calculate the percentage error using the lower bound as the exact value of the area. So substituting in VA as 6.25 pi, and VE, the exact value, using the lower band, as stated. Typing that into the calculator by pressing F3 for absolute value, and then fraction button, 6.25, shift pi, take away 6.0025. And down cursor on the bottom, 6.0025 pi again, and the right cursor to come up and out, and to multiply by 100. And then pressing execute. And then pressing decimal display. And rounding the results to three significant figures, we get 4.0. 1-2%. Performing the calculation again, now using the upper bound as the exact value. So using 6.5025 pi as VE as shown here. And again, 
performing the same calculation, giving a result of 3.88% to three significant figures. So taking the larger of those two values, we say that the maximum percentage error is 4.12%, correct to three significant figures.